Just when we first thing we wake up in the morning, we start just going through our morning devotion, and the last thing on our mind is forgiveness. Matter of fact, we probably went a couple of weeks and forgiveness wasn't even in our mind. Hmm? Well, I ain't done nothing to nobody. Did you ask nobody? <laughs> I mean, if you're clear and good, you're clean, fine. But I'm just saying, it's just normally not in our minds and in our conscience when we wake up in the morning to search our heart to see if we need to forgive someone. But then, it's amazing how throughout the week when we begin to act out our lives and stuff, you see all these uh, <clears throat> offenses. These little warnings. Oh, but you ain't got nobody to forgive. All this discord. And... See what I mean? But we never think about that. Not when we wake up in the morning. But when we play all our lives through the week and stuff, hey, life itself is trying to tell you. God is trying to tell you something right now, right now, right now. And every time there's a manifestation of a spirit, you miss it. Because you didn't start your day off right. It's become so much of our fabric, it's a normal, everyday way of life. Oh, I know, when I go in the dining hall, I'm just going to fight with Carolina because she's just contentious. Yep, she's going to say something about a dish, I'm going to say something, and then boom, there it is, nuclear bomb. If that sister come and say something to me today, I'm loaded, I'm ready. She got by with it yesterday, but let her try that again today. <laughs> See, so now tell me that you ain't got something to forgive. <laughs> Where does war and fighting come from among us? Because of what? Envy, isn't it? Come on, come on. We live on communities and homesteads. Have y'all seen any discord or disagreement this week? Any just in the slightest of matter? Oh, yeah, we've seen some. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Then once that spirit comes in, it drags down the whole atmosphere. You know the devil is in here, but nobody wants to tell on the devil because he's a protected entity. Yet, it makes no difference if the book commanded, let there be no divisions among you. Ah, I ain't worried about that. Brother, did you pray this morning? I did. What's all this hell going on then this week? Every time I turn around, you and your brother, brother y'all, always at each other's throat over something. What is it? What are these unresolved issues? What is going on? But you ain't got nothing to pray about the Lord. You ain't got nobody to forgive. You know what I mean? Man. For, let me see. If you have ought against any, now the, the, the key in this is, is to admit that you have ought. You know when you got ought. You want know, me to tell y'all how I know that you know when you got ought? When certain people get around, your spirit gets bold because you ain't taking it. All of a sudden, you're real sober now. You king, you are discerning spirits. <laughs> you know, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Don't sit up and get mute on me now. It's amazing then, you got everything in the world to say. And if you're too chicken to say it to them, then you go and go spit in your brother or sister here. Yeah, yeah. But you ain't got nothing to forgive. See what I mean? 
And if you have all against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespass. So if you don't forgive people their trespass, then it's 100% bona fide that the Most High Yah is not going to forgive you or yours.